Hello and welcome to Total IELTS and in today's lesson I'll be looking at general training writing task 1 the classic letter of complaint. I'll provide a sample task and answer and look at the structure of your letter with a step-by-step -step guide planning the importance of writing in the correct style or tone and how to avoid minimum scores in task achievement. So here is a sample and you can pause the video here for a moment and read the sample in detail. All the information you need to answer the question is included in the situation and instructions. It includes the context or background information, who you're writing to and all the information that you need to include in your answer. So before you begin writing, make a plan. Read the situation and instructions carefully. This will help you understand the task. Now, many students say, uh, I don't have time to make a plan. I only got 20 minutes. But actually making a plan only takes a few minutes. And the benefits are that you will fully understand the task requirements, which in turn will help you score very well in task achievement. So let's look at the sample plan for this. Who you are writing to, this is included in the instructions. It's the store or the manager. What style, it's formal. And the purpose is to make a complaint. For the three bullet points, the first one asks, what's the problem? So you could say it's the sound quality or too much bass. Second one asks, what happened? So you could say you the assistant tried to fix it. And the third one, what action you required? You can say you would like a full refund. All letters need a closing and sign off. For the closing here, you can ask for immediate attention and the sign off is a typical formal style sign off. First thing to do is decide who you're writing to. And this is always included in the instructions. And in this case, you're writing a letter to the store. When writing to an organization or company, your style must always be formal and it's determined by who you're writing to. Writing in the correct style or tone is very important for general training writing task one. Failure to do so will result in a minimum score of four in task achievement. So once you've decided who you're writing to and the style or tone, then you should structure and organize your answer. Try this six paragraph structure in clear separate paragraphs. In paragraph one, state clearly your purpose. Two, three, and four, address the bullet points. Paragraph five, include a appropriate closing. And six, the sign off. Let's start with the purpose. This is basically why you're writing. It's very important to state a clear purpose in all general training writing task ones. Failure to do so again will result in a band four in task achievement. Now your purpose here is the formal style. So for this type of letter, it's quite simple to begin your purpose by stating something like, I am writing to complain or inform, request or apply. For the purpose, you should paraphrase and expand on the situation. Here the situation is you bought the speakers and discovered they were not working properly. And here is a sample purpose. So after you've stated your purpose, you need to address the bullet points. Every general training writing task one has three bullet points. 
If you forget to include any of them, it will result in a minimum score of 4 in task achievement. Don't copy the bullet points word for word. This will be deducted from your word count. Also, don't introduce the bullet points. For example, don't say, now I will describe the problem with the speakers. Bullet points are prompts or questions that you need to expand upon. You need to use additional information from your imagination. For example, the bullet point here asks, explain what action you require. So you need to invent additional details. And here is a sample answer for this bullet point. After you've addressed the bullet points, you need to close the letter. The closing is a final statement, request or summary, and it's an important part of the IELTS letter writing conventions. For example, here, letter of complaint, you could say, please give this matter your immediate attention. And finally, the sign off. And the sign off depends on the style or tone of your letter. It's important also because inappropriate style will result in a low score in task achievement. So for a formal letter like this, you could end with saying something like respectfully yours, regards or best regards. In summary, always read the situation and instructions carefully. All the information you need to complete the task is included here. Decide who you're writing to. This will always be stated in the instructions and the style or tone. Is it formal or informal? Make a plan using prompt words, not full sentences. And you do have time for this, even though you only think you have 20 minutes. Organize your answer into six clear and separate paragraphs. In number one, state your purpose. Two, three, and four, address the bullet points, each one. Five, close your letter. And finally, sign off in the appropriate style. When it comes to stating your purpose for formal letters, you can begin with something like, I am writing to. Always expand the bullet points with additional information from your imagination. Include an appropriate closing and sign off in the correct style. Here is our original task, the letter of complaint. And here is a sample answer. You can pause the video here and read it in your own good time. 